Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. As you can see, this is 24 inch Media Think Center Thousand monitor and it comes with mini PC that is also Think Center. We're gonna check the model number. The model number Think Center M720Q. It comes with 8 gig of RAM built in SSD and one of the great machine for home user or office. So today in this video, we're going to show you how to enable the UEFI USB boot due to reinstall Windows 10 or 11. First of all, make sure you connect the charger and you should have the bootable UEFI based Windows 10 or 11 thumb drive. As you can see, I do have Windows 10 one and make sure you connect in any USB port, either the front or the back. And then we can press F1 to get into BIOS if it shows error like that. If it doesn't, then press the power button to turn it off. Press it again to turn back on and keep pressing F1 to get into BIOS. And here is the main screen of BIOS. This is quite decent BIOS. As you can see, there are many options, main devices, advanced power, security, startup, we don't need to go through all of them. We need a couple of settings uh, to enable the UEFI boot. So first of all, in the main section, there is nothing. Only you can see all about the system information, the model number, serial, and BIOS date, and version, all of them. If you get into devices, there is one setting, which is called USB setup, the top one. Click here, USB support has to be enabled, then USB legacy support has to be disabled because the UEFI is the other side, opposite side of the USB, USB legacy. Once you change these two, it's absolutely fine. You can go back and then we're going to get into advanced. There is nothing to do, as you can see. Then let's go to security in power section, also nothing. So from security, we're going to find the secure boot option, which has to be enabled. Remember, UEFI always goes with security boot enabled. Otherwise, it would not work and give you some sort of error. So click here and make sure that is enable. If disabled, you can press enter and choose enable and then hit enter again to save it. So that is saved. And now we're going to press, there is nothing else to do as I believe. We're going to get into startup option just to check the boot priority option. As you can see, when I change uh, CSM comes disabled by itself because we choose secure boot enable. When you choose secure boot enable, the CSM goes to disable, which is a great one. Otherwise, it's a confusion. So now let's go to primary boot sequence. As you can see, this one M.2, that's mean my SSD number one. But we need to take the USB HDD into number one so that when you restart the system that can automatically get into Windows setup and give us the option to reinstall the Windows. So what are you going to do? First, we're going to select it, highlighted it. As you can see, the white color one is highlighted. Then from the keyboard, just do the plus sign is going to take it to the top. Now press F10 to save it and exit so system would restart and play the USB. And now press F10 to restart it. And once you restart, the BIOS system automatically choose the USB would be the first boot. So without any error, it should give us the option and take us directly to the Windows setup, as you can see. So here is few things that you need to remember. Don't be confused. First of all, you need to choose the secure boot has to be enabled. That's the first thing, which is in security section. Then USB boot has to be enabled as well, USB features. And then uh, legacy has to be disabled. And CSM also has to be disabled. And then boot priority from that section, you must need to keep the USB in number one by uh, pressing plus and minus button from the keyboard to choose. Okay, here is uh, pretty simple now. I believe everybody knows how to do that. 
but still I'm going to keep running this video until the end to see if the boot is successful or not. So stay with me and enjoy the rest of the video. So here is little advice, sometimes what happens is because if we chosen the USB is first priority for the boot option so every time due to reinstall the windows when it restart it goes back to the windows setup page at the beginning which is painful. So how to resolve this issue? Let me show you. So example as you can see it start up and it seems it's going back to the beginning of the setup. So we're going to wait and check what happened. All right, as you can see, it goes back to the Windows setup. So at that point, cancel it. Say yes and keep pressing F2 to get into startup menu. Keep pressing F2 on the keyboard. So you're going to get temporary startup device. So from here, we're going to choose SATA okay that's the one that is from the hard drive or from the SSD and if you choose but make sure you leave the USB connected into the same port so every time it restart if it goes back to the beginning of the Windows setup don't worry just cancel the setup the way I did and then when it restart, keep pressing F12 so you can choose the temporary boot option, the internal SSD or hard drive, okay, until it finish. So once the setup is finished, it would be absolutely fine. You can take out the USB and the computer would start up from the internal storage hard drive or SSD. As you can see it's gone back again so we're gonna restart it and at this moment we're gonna get into the setup and change it change the boot priority option because our Windows setup already done so we're gonna press F12 while it restart and get into enter setup hit enter to get into BIOS and from here we're gonna go to startup menu boot priority sequence and we're gonna change the SATA one number one in boot priority so that next time when it start up it will start up from the internal SSD or hard drive now save the changes by pressing F10 say yes and now it would start up from the internal storage so pretty much that's all So finally it's done and it is working perfectly. Still if you do have any question, make sure you leave it in the comment section and please if you do like this video, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. 
I received a lot of thanks previously and welcome to them. But if you do, if you consider subscribing, that would be great. Thank you. I hope I will see you in the next one. Bye for now.